Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man whose daughter eloped with her partner of 5 years, and now she wants this from her father, to which her father denied. Let's find out what she wants. Here's the full story. My daughter Jane recently eloped with her partner of 5 years. My wife and I were excited when they got engaged to plan a wedding, but she said she didn't want to rush setting a date or planning a wedding. This was understandable to us and we didn't want to rush them either, but we let her know we would contribute a set amount to her wedding when the time came. Then last week she tells me she has an announcement, and that they actually eloped together because they decided they didn't want the big event with all the attention on them. This was a little disappointing but we understood, she's never been the type to want to be the spotlight so while we weren't expecting it, it wasn't the biggest shock in the world. What did feel like a shock is when she assumed we'd just give her that amount of cash straight up. She said they wanted to use it to take a month-long traveling sabbatical, honeymoon. My wife and I told her the money we were prepared to give her was for a family event, not just for her to do as she pleases. If she didn't want a traditionally wedding, that's fine but we never told her we were just giving her say 15k for the act of getting married. We just didn't want her to have to spend a ton of her own funds on a wedding. And since relatives and family friends would have presumably been there, we were happy to pay for it so she wouldn't have to. Two of my nieces have gotten married in the last couple years and it's a family event to us, not just about the two people getting married. This has caused the whole thing with her saying we went back on our word to her, but in my mind we never told her otherwise. We did say if she wants a second ceremony, family event to celebrate but wouldn't be an official wedding, we would sponsor that. If she had asked if she eloped or had a tiny wedding, if we would give her some of it for a honeymoon, we may have considered it but it's hard to know because we were never given the request. They just went and did their own thing, which again is fine. So, am I the idiot for not just giving her the cash we would have paid? Not the idiot. Your expectations and conditions are entirely reasonable. It was unreasonable for her to assume that she could simply take the cash option here. It's fair for both sides to be a little disappointed, but ultimately they have to respect each other's choices in this scenario. Also, paying for different services is different than being able to provide cash. Obviously we don't know OP's financial situation so we can't know if this would even be possible. OP has a rational and fair stance. A wedding is a social event that often serves as a bit of a family reunion. OP offered money for a group party that benefits the overall family, not a vacation for only two people. The daughter is not an idiot for eloping, but she is for excluding her family but still expecting the money. Actually, a wedding is about the couple, but it's fair of you to say the event would be so that the family could celebrate the couple. Your daughter is acting entitled. You and your wife offering to contribute toward wedding expenses in no way means your daughter is somehow entitled to that money if a wedding does not take place. That's just entitlement on your daughter's end. You said you would help with the wedding, not with the honeymoon. There's a difference in spending so much money for an event a whole lot of people would enjoy, than giving it for two people only to spend. She didn't spend a penny because she eloped. I'm sure she has all the money for a good honeymoon without you giving her anything. You were willing to pay for a wedding, because you wanted a wedding. She didn't want a wedding, which is fine. But you're under no obligation to just give her the money you would have spent on a wedding, if there wasn't an agreed upon deal ahead of time. In my opinion, like you said, if she would have come to you before getting married and laid it all out there, then maybe you could have compromised, given her a smaller amount as a wedding gift or something. It kind of seems like it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission type situation, where she was hoping you'd just give in. My fiancé and I are getting married next year. His family is Spanish but all of them speak perfect English. I don't speak Spanish at all. When I visit his family, no one ever switches to English. They all always act like I am not there. They just don't make effort to include me in their conversations at all. I swallowed this for years and I learned to live with it. However, I can't stand how his little sister treats me. Here are some examples. 1. When we visit his family, she always asks my fiancé if they can spend time in two to have some quality sibling time. Without me, since I don't know anybody in Spain, it just means that they are going out for a whole day and I just stay alone with their parents, which are ignoring me. I cannot comprehend how people can treat their guests like that. I would never dream to tell my fiancé to stay in a room in my hometown because I need some quality time with my sister. 2. I hate the smell of cigarettes. My nose is sensitive and it just can't stand it. I never have problems with it in public, when I smell it, I just move to avoid standing next to a smoker. His sister is a smoker and she knows I hate the smell. She was asked many times to move her smoking elsewhere when I am present, however she always refused. 
There were times when we were eating a lunch and she was smoking next to me, knowing it disturbs me a lot. When I wanted to leave the table for 5 minutes to wait out the smoke, my fiancé was calling me rude. Also when I was refusing to sit down next to her, I was apparently being offensive. 3. We were planning a family trip. One day I was talking to my SO in English, when his sister comes between us and starts talking to my fiancé in Spanish, ignoring my presence completely. He told me that his sister came and asked him to not bring me to that family trip, that it will be better without me, and that I am not welcome there. I felt super disrespectful that someone can stand in front of me and say all these things in other language knowing I wouldn't understand. 4. There were many moments when I was having an English discussion with my fiancé, and his sister was just coming in and interrupting us without even hi towards me. She was just starting speaking in Spanish to my fiancé and I was just standing there, feeling very unwelcome. 5. She advised my fiancé to break up with me many times. She was telling his whole family mean stuff about me. Apparently that I am jealous, toxic, etc. None of it is true. I was very hurt hearing it, but I get it. If she felt like it, she should inform her brother. But not supporting our relationship makes me not want to invite her to our wedding. Now we are preparing a guest list. I don't want to invite her. I know I won't have a good time on my own wedding if she's there. Things she was doing to me were subtle, but I always felt excluded and bad. So, am I the idiot? Not the idiot. You don't have a future sister-in-law problem, nor a future-in-law's problem. You have a fiancé problem. He should be asking family to include you in conversations. He should be asking his sister to keep away from you with her cigarettes. He should have your back. He doesn't. Put this relationship on hold, at the very least. Reconsider it carefully. You sound like a very nice person but with low self-esteem. That's the only reason I can see why you haven't stood up for yourself by now and dumped your crappy fiancé. And make no mistake OP, your fiancé is crappy. His family always excludes you. Fiancé does nothing. His family ignores you. Fiancé does nothing. His family speaks badly about you. Fiancé does nothing. Do you notice a trend here? Your fiancé is not a good life partner. He sounds like a great son and brother but, as your fiancé, the man gets a failing grade. I'm not sure if he is your first serious relationship but this is not a healthy dynamic. Him letting his family ignore, offend, disrespect, hurt you speak volumes about exactly how much he cares about you. Yes, he's close to his family but he can be loving to them but still firm and demanding they treat you better. I don't think your fiancé will ever entertain your suggestion not to invite his sister. You must know that. All that's going to do is make you the bad guy in their eyes. Besides, his sister is not the only problem here. The whole family disrespects you and your fiancé allows it. Think about that OP. Really think about what that means. I advise you not to marry this man as things stand. I knew someone in a similar situation and she deeply regrets it. Often says she wishes she could turn back time and do things differently. I really hope you reconsider what exactly you are signing up for with this family. If he is your first serious relationship, it does explain a lot. Please know OP I am rooting for you. We are all here rooting for you. We just don't want you to waste your life on a man who doesn't appreciate how awesome you are. And you do sound pretty awesome. And you try, you really try for him. He needs to do the same. Know your worth OP. You deserve better. You aren't obligated to go anywhere with anyone you don't want to be with. There may be consequences, but you don't have to do anything. That said, your soon-to-be ex-fiancé and his family do not respect you, even openly dislike you. Your soon-to-be ex-fiancé does not defend you and lets you get treated poorly. This is just as much a problem with him as it is with his family. You need to call this engagement off and state some very clear boundaries, and even demands on how you are treated. Not just by his family but him too. If he says no, you need to move on. I'm glad you're straightening to realize how abusive he and his family all are. I'm blessed to be marrying the love of my life. My engagement party was booked at an upscale restaurant, and prior to the day I sat my sister down and told her that I wanted the party to be focused on the wedding, and to please not go above and beyond to take photos for her social media page. I might get flack for this part, but my sister is trying really hard to become famous online. I've never said anything to her because she's an adult and this is her life, but for my wedding I really didn't want her to pull any of her antics. Because she doesn't just take a few photos to post. She's the embarrassing, in my opinion, caricature of the perpetually online influencer. She'll order two dishes at a restaurant, one to take photos of because it's prettier, and the second to actually eat. She's stopped traffic before to take outfit photos in the street. She's also staged fake things to post online 
One time she started crying in a Starbucks and made a fake store up about how the barista bullet her. I want to make it clear that I did not bar my sister from taking photos. I just didn't want her doing something that would embarrass me. Everything was okay, until she literally stood on top of her chair to take a top-down photo of her meal. Everyone was staring and in shock, and a waiter had to come and ask her to sit down. She refused to, and started to loudly argue with the waiter, saying that she was the sister of the bride, and then started to loudly sob that she was getting bullied. I was mortified and immediately had the groomsmen escort her out of the room. She's since blasted me on social media calling me an idiot for not handling the situation with more grace and empathy. She says that I could have given her a warning instead of kicking her immediately out. I was kind of panicking so I wonder if I could have handled it better. Not the idiot. She's an attention addict, and the sort that always makes herself out to be the victim when she knows she was the one who effed up. $20 says she finds a way to pull this type of crap at your wedding if she attends. The waiter asking her to sit down was her warning. Getting kicked out was a natural consequence. I mean if she had been standing on a chair to get the perfect pic of the happy couple for you, maybe I'd give her a pass. But fighting over a pic of her food and drawing attention away from the occasion. That's rude. OP, you need to respond to each of her bullying posts identifying the bullying claims she has made before. But you immediately need to respond to her post about how you treated her with. So, let's break this down. At my engagement dinner you did X, Y, Z all because you want to become an influencer. Instead of acting like a normal person you made false claims about the waiter, who was just doing the job he was paid to do, bullying you and then you hand a tantrum when you were called out on it, until you had to be escorted off property. Grow up. Your response will gain traction. She made herself a spectacle for no reason, embarrassed you, and decided basic restaurant etiquette didn't apply to her. I'm not sure really why a grown woman needs a warning to please not stand on her chair. And plus she caused a scene and argued like a spoiled baby when the waiter tried to ask her nicely to stop. You did give her a warning. You did sit her down and told her what exactly she isn't supposed to do. And she did that anyway, so this is not on you. If a waiter had to come over and ask her to sit down, it is very evident that she was in fact creating a scene. People who create scenes and upstage special events get kicked out. That's the rule. I don't see how much more gracefully you could have handled this situation. This is your engagement party. It should not be and is not a content source for Miss Influencer. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.